welcome back to our channel. We've been in quarantine for a long time now and we're really missing Disney and the parks. So what better way to reminisce on our Disney days than to make something that is Disney related. So today we're gonna to be making some Mickey beignets and mint juleps. Alright, so to get started, I have my mise en place set up for our beignet dough. I have some bread flour, warm water that I had temped out to be about, let's see, it's about 100 degrees because we're going to be blooming our yeast in the water, eggs, evaporated milk, unsalted butter, sugar, a little bit of salt. We have our vanilla already in the bowl, and then I have my packet of active dry yeast. So to get started, we're gonna be blooming the active dry yeast into the warm water. Pour the whole packet in here. And then I'm just gonna give it a little bit of stir. And we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes. All right, so I just put the sugar in with the flour um, just to have that combined. So next up, the yeast is almost done. So we're gonna get the eggs and the evaporated milk into the bowl. And I'm just gonna take that whisk and just try to break up the egg a bit. I'm gonna put my dough hook attachment on, lock it in place, and then I'm gonna slowly stream in my yeast mixture. I'm gonna be adding the dry in a little by little just because there's so much flour and I have a small mixer, so I don't want it to like explode. I'm gonna just start with half. And I already made a mess, whoops. So once I get this mostly together is when I'm going to add my butter and my salt. I add the salt after the yeast just because um, salt kills yeast and I want to make sure that this gets incorporated before I add that. Alright, so this is a good amount of mix before I add in my salt. And now I'm going to start throwing in my little chunks of unsalted butter. You can kind of hear like my motor is struggling because I've had this mixer since I was 18. It's not the strongest. You want to make sure that this is kind of soft. You don't want to use like really cool butter, otherwise it's never going to incorporate into this. And I'm also breaking it up with my fingers just to make sure that it is malleable and it's going to mix into this dough. I'm going to let this keep mixing probably for about two to three minutes and then I'm going to check it and see how it's doing. I'm going to try to turn the speed up. I hope I don't break my mixer. I feel like if I rub it like a genie lamp, it's going to be just fine and it's not going to break. No, they're there. Alright, so I can see that the butter chunks are already mixed up in here, which is great. So now we're just looking to build some gluten, so I'm going to let it go for about another minute or so. This is looking really good. Alright, I want to just kind of press some of the dough back down because it's all starting to climb up. Ugh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. I love it when things turn out. All right, just a little bit longer. <sighs> nice and soft. So I think I'm ready to get it into its bowl. So I'm just gonna use a metal bowl and spray it with a little pan spray and then transfer this in there. Ugh. Biceps galore. All right. So I'm gonna wrap this with plastic wrap nice and tight and I'm gonna pop it in the fridge for two hours. So that is phase one of beignets. All right, it's been two hours since I let this bad boy chill out. So I pulled it out of the refrigerator because I figured um, it's gonna take too long to proof if I leave it in there. So it was only in there for like 30 minutes and then I put it on the counter for an hour and a half and it rose pretty well. Nice and fluffy. Whoop. All right. So now I'm gonna roll him out onto the table. I clean this, and this is the part where we're gonna roll out and make our shapes. So like a typical like New Orleans style is gonna be a rectangle, which you could use like a pizza cutter, but we're making it fun and we're gonna do some Mickeys. I don't know how these are gonna turn out, so I'm gonna do a test and see. Oh my God, look how beautiful this is. This is like, oh, I don't even need this rolling pin. That's how soft it is. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so I'm gonna roll it. Um, not terribly thin. These are gonna be some floofy freaking Mickeys, let me tell you. That's probably like an inch. So I grabbed a tray and I have it lined and I'm gonna cut my shapes and put it on here. 
And then I, I created an at-home proof box, which is going to be great for you guys. So I turned the oven on um, to the very low setting, and then what I did is I put a pan of hot water on the first rack. So then I'm just gonna have my shapes on the second rack so that it proofs it big and fluffy before we start frying it. It's already at temp, but 170 is gonna be way too hot. So I'm just gonna leave it ajar um, and then that way it'll take out some of the heat. Otherwise it's gonna go way too fast. All right, let's see how this shape does. So I have my Mickey cutter. <laughs> So all my makeup shapes are done. I have some scrap dough, but we'll save that just in case. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna put these in the oven um, and let it proof. So even though I proofed the dough already for two hours, I'm gonna do it just a little bit more because that's what's gonna make that signature super fluffy, super delicious beignet. So we could technically just fry them like as is, but why stop there? Huh? Huh? <laughs> So now I'm gonna start getting my oil heating. I'm gonna leave a little bit just in case it gets um, too hot and I need to cool it down. So we're looking for 350 degrees. I have just a basic thermometer, but you can use like a candy thermometer or one of these too, it's fine. Or your finger. <gasps> Don't use your finger. You crazy? All right, so this is about 340 right now. So I'm gonna pull these beignets out of my little proof box and I'm gonna do a test one. So these did get a little bit fluffier. Time to drop in my little test Mickey. As soon as I start to see the sides get like golden brown, is when I'll flip it. I'd say that is about done. I have my little station set up, so I have my paper towels over here. All right, so that worked out beautifully. I'm gonna put in two now and just do a couple at a time here. Woo! I get scared every time. So this is bubbling a little bit too much, so if that happens, like just keep turning the heat down just a tad. So we're gonna do a little test taste, taste test, whatever. Of course we need a load of powdered sugar on here. Gotta do both sides, people. Both sides. Here we have Mickey Beignet. This is still nice and hot. Oh my God, fluffy, <gasps> steamy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my God. This is hot. So hot, the powdered sugar is like dissolving. I think you can use more powdered sugar. Yep, yeah, I'm in heaven. I'm gonna eat this whole thing, sorry. Wow, these are really good. I don't think there's enough powdered sugar though. All right guys, now we're gonna get into the mint juleps. So Kelly and I were in Disneyland last April and we had the original mint julep, which we loved. And then recently we were here at Disney World Epcot, which they had a frozen mint julep with bourbon in it. So we wanna to try to take a hybrid of both and create our own version of this mint julep. So I'm gonna walk you through that now. This is lemon concentrate, four ounces of it. I have it already measured out. And then we have some lime concentrate as well, two ounces of that. So we're gonna add both of those into our pan over here. Two and three fourths cups of water. And then we're gonna add one cup of sugar. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add these two pre-measured lime and lemon concentrates. Stir it around. We're gonna heat it up until it all dissolves together. All right guys, this is all blended together. Lime, lemon, concentrate along with water and sugar. So we're just gonna add all this to this bowl. Before we continue, we want to add creme de menthe to this delicious bowl. So we're adding two ounces of this. We're adding three ounces of the julep syrup to our shaker. 
four ounces of water. And now's the best part. This is some black bourbon. You want a high quality bourbon for this drink. So get the good stuff, pay a little extra. We're gonna add two ounces of this shot glass for accuracy. And one for me. <laughs> so before I continue um, and shake this up and, and pour it and all that, this drink traditionally uses crushed ice and we don't have that. We don't have a fridge that dispenses crushed ice. So we're going the extra mile here. We're literally gonna blend regular ice cubes to make crushed ice so that we're authentic. This is a special drink for a special audience. Give it a little pulse. That was shocking. Before I pour it in and continue, I just wanna add the mint leaves to this and muddle it in here. I'm gonna add a little of the syrup to have a little liquid, which helps with the muddling process. Uh, let me pick my fresh mint straight from the garden. Add some ice cubes. All right, we got some ice in the shaker. Time to shake things up. Our glass is ready for pouring. Look at that beautiful thing. Muddled mint crushed ice. Now we're gonna add our club soda. A little mints for garnish. Also, if you wanna be extra fancy, get, get some fruit. Well, preferably a lemon or a lime and uh, garnish the edge of the glass with it. So there you have it, folks. So to me, this is a nice combination of the Disneyland and Disney World version. If you really want to get the full experience, you have to do it this way. You saw me eat the beignet earlier, but I, you need to do it with the mint julep. So we're going to grab this bad boy. Take a big old bite of this, ready? <laughs> big old bite. Wash it down with the mint julep. With the beignet still in your mouth, it'll soak up the mint julep. That's some good stuff, folks. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what you do, you're gonna love this, so. Very happy to share that with you guys. Um, this is a, a great drink to have the beignets. Um, you can make a mess, you can get messed up. <laughs> great way to spend your quarantine, so cheers. 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 Brilliant job on the beignets. I think those are delicious, as everyone saw. It was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. you Good job on the drinks. This is like seriously identical to the Disneyland version plus alcohol. So like seriously, this is a win. Yes. Huge win. Yes. Thank you. Now I want to try what Dave did earlier and like double fist it. Because <laughs> I have to see how my creation pairs with the drink. So I I'm not going to be as messy as Dave. Mmm. <laughs> And then drink them at the same time? Yep. Oh my God. That right? is so good. Right? It seems weird, but it's like one of those, you know, Wendy's Frosty and French fry combinations. Mm -hmm. It's just. Like you gotta try it. Yeah. This is perfection. Like what a way to spend our days inside. Cheers, stay safe everyone. Stay safe. See you on the next one.